Hey Eugene, this is Jack again. This is 2416. Not a bad looking house for the street. The roof looks recent. This is a rental, so you're not too worried about some of those details. This is the place they'll do a six month rental. It's all stone. Coming in the front, looks pretty good. Got a little porch out here. And decent looking door. On the inside, it's been a rental for a while. So it's got some mismatches and colors and paints and stuff that you'll find off in a rental. You walk in, you have a, a formal dining room. And you see some different colors of floors. This is a laminate dining room floor. And it's a greenish color. And it's a pretty big, pretty big dining room actually. Then you see over in the living room from there. To the right of the front door, you have a rather large office. And it is a very large office, a lot of built-ins. And lots and lots of room in this office to do stuff. You have plenty of room for more things in this office. That's inside the front door. That's front door, left is dining room, right is office. When you come across, you have the stairway. We'll go upstairs in a minute. And then you have a picture place for my picture right there. And you have over here the living room with a big fireplace. Sorry, it's a little bit dark. There it's better with a big fireplace. And the living room is like this. I'm just going to do some of 360. Here's living room. And you see there, there's some under counter shelves. The room back there with the lights on is the dining room. And then you look over here, here's the kitchen. It has beautiful granite, it has newer cabinets in the house. These look like nicer cabinets than most. It's got a uh, little brown granite. You don't see that real often around. It's upgraded. It's got some, an okay backsplash. Five burner stove, uh, got a nice brown hood. Then over here you have your, your uh, oven and your microwave. Refrigerator would go there. Then you come around this hallway behind the kitchen and you have, so to get here you come through the kitchen or, and that's the only way through to get to this back portion. And then coming through here you have a decent sized bedroom with a Berber type carpet, reasonably clean. It's been cleaned, but it's not perfect. And then a simple closet. Coming out of here, you have the laundry room. It is, does have access to gas. And the garage I'll show you in a minute. So you have the first bedroom I showed you. You have a bathroom that the two bedrooms share. That they've upgraded a bit with countertops and stuff. Decent looking bathroom. Then you have the other bedroom, which has a walk-in closet instead of a small one this time. And you have a, a not quite as big of a bedroom. It's got an angle to it, which you can see. And then goes back and looks out the side of the house. And then you have back to the kitchen. And you can go either through the kitchen or through the living room, either one, back to the master bedroom. So this is the, this is the eat-in breakfast area here, which you can see. And then the master bedroom is here. You have a closet here. Then you have a pretty good sized master bedroom. And apparently a lot of the wiring comes into the bedroom from here. A bunch of wiring. You just figure, spend some days figuring that out. Master bathroom is in here. You got a pretty good sized closet. I'm sorry it's dark, but it's a pretty big closet. I couldn't get the light to come on. We'll figure that out. But it's a plenty big closet. Then you have the master bath, which has granite that matches the kitchen. And actually a pretty nice looking area here. It's not gigantic master bathroom. And you have a master shower. That's tile. Okay. Then master, master toilet. Apparently has a little homemade bidet in there. Might enjoy that. And then it's got some very nice crown molding in here. This house at one time was very nice. It just needs a little pup up to get it going. Then coming back out, so into the living room, passing the kitchen, going upstairs now, back towards the front of the house. It's fairly small because uh, it's a little more concise than some of the homes we looked at. Small is not the right word. Then you have the steps. Now this carpet has been clean, but it still shows some soil. And you come up upstairs, you have one really, really, really huge. Um, family room area 
And a lot of these windows have uh, moisture leaking, but that's not a problem if you're, if you're renting it. But it's a huge family room area. This thing is probably all together 35 feet long. It's about 40 feet long. So it's a huge family room area upstairs. There are no bathrooms upstairs, just so you know. Would this work as a rental for six, three, for six months? I think it would be fine. It's not as nice as what you're looking for. Uh, as a rental, it's nicer than most. Certainly a kitchen is nicer than most. And it would give you the ability to get into Barron's Ranch. And it starts the kids out here. Coming back over to the... I'm not as picky uh, about rentals as I am ones you would buy. <clears throat> like generally, the, we're looking at can you handle it for, for the period you're in here. Some unusual colors in some of the places you can live with to, for a season. This has a Texas garage or Texas basement in it. And that you got about a five foot extension of the garage over here to store stuff in. And whoever was here had a, was in the bicycles. There's a wheels in here. But it's bigger than normal garage. So pretty nice looking possibility for rentals, if that interests you. I'm going to show you the backyard and then we'll stop this and I will upload it to YouTube for you to see. The backyard is not really large. The house sits well in the yard in that there's room, more than the usual amount of room on the sides, although it's not enormous. The back of the house has a patio that's a stamped cement that looks like stone, which you can see. And in the backyard over here, they have some palm trees that aren't doing too well. And they have a place where they grow a garden. And you can see that's a little wider than normal. You come around and you got fence, got some bad fence over there. And you got a pretty good size, wide but not deep backyard. You walk across the back of the house, it's stone on all sides, which is pretty. And then it's got a pretty, right, pretty good sized side yard over here. Doesn't look like anybody's ever done much with it. It is stone all the way up except that front part. This is a nice looking house overall. I think it would serve you okay for three or six months. Is it going to be the house you want in the long term? Not without some fix-up. Okay, I'm going to sign off here. Talk to you soon.